The Battle of Asylum showed the galaxy the cool isn't invincible. My contacts in the core worlds have thrown their support behind us, behind you. You're about to become the leader of an alliance dedicated to bringing down the Eternal Throne once and for all. Everyone's waiting on a planet called Adesan. If you're up for it, we should say hello. Let's not keep them waiting. Here we go again. Odessin, huh? Could it be there's really a place where no one wants to kill us? I handpicked it myself. We'll be safe. Are we sure it's wise to leave Scorpio in control of the bridge? Got the ship locked down. She can't go anywhere without my approval. I hope you're right. So, why this world? Remote, unsettled, and strong in the Force. But unlike Korriban or Tython, Odessin is altogether balanced. How did you find it? I've always had a strong affinity with the Force. It's what set me on this path to begin with. Led me to forge a certain alliance all those years ago. With the Republic? I meant with you. Here we are. This is your new alliance. It's a good start. We all had a hand in getting here, but you've been the center. You made it possible. Show them what you're made of. I'd like everyone's attention. The galaxy as we knew it is gone. The institutions we know have fallen. But we can't let that be a source of panic or defeat. We have an opportunity to build something together. An alliance each of us can be vested in. We don't all share the same ideologies, but every one of you is here because you believe we can transcend our differences. I believe it too. Either we succeed together or we fail alone. Let's not fail.
Like what you done with the place. Theron Sean. Hadn't seen you in a while. Wasn't sure you'd remember me. It's great to see you again, Theron. Good. Wasn't sure based on what Lana said you went through. What you're going through. In a long five years. Feels like everything's changed. Why don't you get me up to speed? I will. But before we dig into the big stuff, I've got something for you. You found my people? No luck so far, but... Needs work! A lot of work! Squadron run like that will fail without detailed schematics. We need hangar positions, defensive capabilities. It would also help if we understood how to disrupt the power core. I cannot divine such information nor pray to the gods of science. All I can do is speculate. Unless, that is, we could extract such data in secret. Don't look at me. I've snuck into some crazy places, but stations like these are another deal altogether. All right, we'll table it for now. We have company. Need some help? With Arkans battle stations, we will, as soon as we understand them. We're building a healthy alliance, but it's not enough. The core worlds are still under the threat of Arkans' considerable reach. Now, I've assembled a team of specialists to help tackle the big questions and find potential recruits. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarab, if you recall. I'm no biologist, but I admit I'm fascinated by the effects of long-term carbonite poisoning on your mental faculties. Baywan Ego, former fleet admiral in the Republic Navy. Discharged, but still in this fight. Hilo Viz. Sure you've heard of me. Broke the toughest blockade in galactic history. Republic's greatest outlaw hero, basically. Your visage surfaced in my trials. I am the mystic's on array. I will assist you. Exactly what problems are you all working to solve? Exactly all of them. Logistics, intelligence, military, technology. And don't get me started on the Force. If I may be so bold, I would ask a favor of you. I have my trained eye on a promising recruit. A Gan, of all creatures. If you'd like to go over the details, you may find me in my splendid new laboratory. So, that's the team. Any questions? I won't take any more of your time. I look forward to working with you all. A pleasure to meet in person. Good luck out there. Thanks for dropping in. Well, if it isn't the new commander, it's a pleasure to be able to work with you again, sir. Your work at Kuat was impressive, to say the least. That it has. I really do wish we had more time to catch up, but the Eternal Empire's not sitting around, so neither can we. If only it was as easy to send the Eternal Empire packing as you did those imps back on Kuat. Uh, sorry, sir. That remark was totally inappropriate, given our current alliance. At any rate, my job is to coordinate the Alliance's military and strategic intelligence assets. I'm looking forward to working with you to enhance our military capacity. Let me know if and when you're looking to help. We've got plenty of work to go around. Well, if it isn't the new commander. We didn't get much of a chance to talk earlier. You lost, or just slumming it down here with the likes of us? Well, here it is in all its glory. The beating heart of your Alliance's supply chain. Anyhow, I'd give you the grand tour, but we're all pretty busy. The Alliance needs a lot to keep it going. Food, equipment, weapons, ships. And it needs to get everything without popping up on Arkan scanners. That kind of work takes a true professional. Someone who knows where to look, how to ask, and who to ask. So, naturally, your friends went and found the best. Yours truly to run the supply into this operation. I make sure you get what you need without raising any eyebrows. All at perfectly reasonable contract rates, plus hazard premiums and a discretion fee. One of the great truths of the galaxy, Commander. Fact is, a lot of freighter captains are happy just to have steady work from someone who won't shoot them in the back when it's time to pay up. 
All the same, I have to admit I've stretched my network of contacts pretty thin. If this alliance is gonna get much bigger, we're gonna need a lot more help. Smugglers, bounty hunters, maybe even pirates. Anyone who has useful skills or just knows their way around the underworld. You find anyone good, bring them in. I've always got my ear to the ground too. If I find any promising leads, I'll let you know. Oh, one last thing. While you're out and about, you ever find a Deveronian by the name of Galt Renault or Tiresias Loci? You let me know. Need to put a few holes into that backstabber. Long story. Greetings. I am not the first mystic you have met. I am honored. When my vision showed I must take many Voss, seek an outsider, and enter a war, great caution was exercised. My vision was given to five different interpreters. All five interpretations aligned. Thus, I am here. Visions cannot be wrong. Interpreters can. We eliminated that chance. The way forward was made clear. Why? It must be so. We do what we must to protect Foss. As was seen, we have built an enclave for those gifted in the Force. Here they will meditate, train, and grow. I also meditate, awaiting visions of those who will yet join us. Your concerns are misplaced. There will be conflicts. Tempers will flare. The Enclave will survive it, and grow stronger. I have also brought several Voss training in the Force. Some proficient, some beginners, all learning. Thank you, but gratitude is unnecessary. The Enclave must grow, but it requires your support to do so. I meditate. My visions reveal those who might join. You will attempt to recruit them. My visions also showed many artifacts and force relics gathered here. The task of retrieving them also falls to you. With the relics, we will learn and grow. Our alliance will spread across the stars. I must return to meditation. As outsiders like to say, good luck. Ha! We meet again. To share your company twice after so many years. I did not believe destiny could be so whimsical. Indeed. Hmm. The intervening years have not treated you well. A fair point, actually. You know, I still look back fondly upon our collaboration on the cab, toppling tomorrow. I had hoped to be able to work together again, and now we have been given the opportunity. Let us not squander it with idle chatter. On to business. It is no secret that against the Eternal Empire we stand at a massive technological disadvantage. In fact, that is almost an understatement. My role here is to coordinate the Alliance effort to understand the Eternal Empire technology, and to develop our own to bring us to an even footing. The task is daunting indeed, which is what makes it exciting. To succeed, we must gather scientists, researchers, and representatives from the galaxy's many sentient species for their fresh perspectives. I do, an exceptional dad, both a findsman and an engineer by trade, is currently located in Zakul's Old World District. Findsmen have a unique perception of reality. They can intuit what others struggle to grasp at all. A finesman who is also an accomplished engineer. I salivate to contemplate the contributions such an individual would make to our cause. I have forwarded to you our information concerning Yoon. For now, I must return to my art. This conversation has left me feeling inspired and I must create.
YouTube para llevar a los demás para conquerarlo. Matarás tú, dale para un cute en cinco y cuatro. Vos sí, es que ahora está. No le haré que lo más retago. solution to a thruster heat dissipation problem that I've been staring at for the past week. Uh, how did he put it? I believe he said something about watching the river of heat looking to where it met the sea. Simply marvelous. Continue to recruit for us individuals of such bold talent and insight, Commander. I suspect we will see tangible results rather soon indeed. I do not have any recruitment leads at this time, but I will send you an alert if I learn anything. In the meanwhile, this reflection has excited me all over again. My mind floods with inspired designs. I must create. <laughs> to old friends and new allies. I'll drink to the second part. Correct. I have never been to a place called Asylum, and have never met you before. If you choose to continue the insinuation that I'm anything other than... Ugh, okay. Okay. Just don't call me a meatbag. Query. What is a meatbag? Perfect. What's she saying? Translation. The small mammal would rather hunt game than consume celebratory beverages. Yes. <laughs> yes! But I am gonna do both. Do you even recall the last time we relaxed? I can. It was 2.6 million years ago, and Senya was still a jerk. And to think I was going to sing for you all tonight. You were what? Ah, oh, come on. I have got to hear this. Too late now. Theron, you can't let the weight of the galaxy rest on your shoulders all the time. Isn't that why you talked me into coming here? To lighten your load? I brought you here because you're good. Hey, look who it is. Don't worry, didn't really start without you. Yes, we've only just begun. I wasn't sure you'd attend. Do you think I'm that dull? Should I tell the truth? <laughs> lie, 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 lie. Ah, don't listen to them. So, you gonna have a drink with us or what? I was hoping to have a talk with one of you first. Come on, Theron. Let's catch up. You got it. Is there any food, or did you eat it all? Hey, I mean, I probably did, but come on. With the way everything changed, the SIS didn't feel right for me anymore, so I walked away. Kept up with my contacts, pretty much did what I was already doing, just not for the Republic. Not for anything. Against Zakul. What about your mother? The Grandmaster? No. Oh, the Jedi Order got scattered, plucked apart, and she decided to... go somewhere. Didn't say where. No one's heard from her, far as I know. And I guess Lon has filled you in on the rest. I want you to know that I'll do everything I can to keep things running smoothly around here. I don't doubt it, Theron. Uh, you got all these people to rally behind you. That was the hard part. What do you say we get back out there? Maybe there's more food. Lana, I have a confession to make. 
I tried the Rose Gorak. What? When did you even have time? I tried it, and I, I didn't love it, but the sauce had this zing to it. I really, I really wish I had some. It looks like things are winding down. Len and Tora got into a drinking contest. It ended poorly. Hey, have you seen Senya? Has anyone seen Senya? Koth, she's not hunting you anymore. You're going to have to trust her eventually. She fought her own daughter. I know. I hear you. The crew needs to be back to work in an hour. That should be fun. I need to schedule some meetings. Reminds me of my advisor days. Thanks, all of you. It means a lot that you're here. Likewise, Outlander. Tora, Len, let's go, you miserable lightweights. Oh, shut up! It's impressive, you know. People from all over the galaxy want to stand behind you. That can't be what you were out here contemplating. It is, in a way. I was thinking how so many Scions followed Heskel. He would have them die as he did because their deaths were foreseen. Their visions provide great insight, but they're not infallible. Reminds me of the Heralds of Zildrog. There's another leader who paid for his certainty. Say what you will about Valkorion, but he at least considered the viewpoints of others. He listened to me. Most of the time. He didn't... He would never have done what... What... Arkin... What is it? I told you before that Arkin had a brother, Thaxon. They were inseparable until his death. Valen told me during our fight. Arkin murdered Thaxon own brother. Maybe if I had raised him... Your fight with Valen. What happened? What she had to say? It struck me down to my core. Paralyzed me. She slipped away. Now, more than ever, I realize my children must be stopped, and that I have to make peace with the choices I've made. Whatever you've done to get here... I hope you can do the same. She raises a good question. How do you look back on your path to this moment? You're in my head. Why don't you take a look for yourself? And what good would that do our alliance? You may not see an alliance, but our destinies are now intertwined. Take advantage of that fact, and there is much you will be capable of. I see you defeating Arkham, even if there are those on this world who disagree. What does that mean? Who disagrees? You will learn soon enough. He's out there somewhere. Our own father. Plotting against us. He's not the only one. After I told Mother that you killed Vaxen, she probably wants your head. But it's not a problem. You have the throne, the fleet, this whole empire. You are as safe from her as can be. I wish Vaxen could be here now. Let's see, I was right to challenge Father. Imagine it. The three of us ruling this empire as it was meant to be ruled. I'd like it if Thaxon were here, too. But that's no longer possible. Doesn't matter. Father has a new favorite. He wants the Outlander to take all of this from you. I'll die before I let that happen to us. Of course you will.
What is all this? It's your first official speech as Alliance Commander. I'll have to thank everyone for their vote of confidence. There was no vote, no meetings, no debates. It's simply the way it is. The way it's been since the day you arrived. Everyone knows it. It's just official now. I thought you hated titles. I hate having one, but I do love granting them. They're looking to you to guide them to greatness as only you can. Take them there. All of us here, we know about loss, don't we? We've lost loved ones, friends. We've been beaten down time and again. Our lives have been taken from us. It almost feels like our destiny. But not one of you has given up. You've stuck it out through your losses. You've come together to build, to create, to fight, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Working together, the galaxy won't have to live under the threat of a tyrant. Together, we will remove Arkin from the throne and we will prevail. come so far. Indeed, I have. They still have far to go, but at this rate they could one day pose a challenge to the Eternal Empire. Perhaps. A pity so many of them will have to die. <laughs>